Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Let's go see if we've got any more uh, messages or people to go and meet. Alright, nothing to do in here currently, so let's head outside. Hey, Cliff. Uh, anyone out here? Jacob and a CSEC officer. Oh, yes. Grunt. Grunt has got himself into some trouble. Alright, where is he? Wait for Jacob. Oh, he's over there. We'll talk to you in a minute, Jacob. It didn't help that we had some oh, is it you? Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. Right. Grant, what have you been up to? So, Grant. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. <laughs> but you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. <laughs> it's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. <laughs> Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why's that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, Officer. So... How were those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. 
<laughs> oh, Grunt. And we do. We love Grunt. Uh, such a problem child. Uh, was it this way for Jacob? Yeah. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. But don't sound too excited, Jacob. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? A shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. <laughs> these people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. <laughs> Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. All right, let's see if I can hope I can win this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Is that all you got? Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Yes. That all you got? What? Hey, go away. Boom. Killed it. Serious. That's bullshit. Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, uh, you probably let me win. Yeah, Come that's on. what happens. Grab some food. I'm buying. Damn it. Right, that goes back in there then. Oh, excuse me. Alright, back to the apartment. It's bound to be some messages now. There we go. Alright, who wants a piece of me now? Tomorrow, Shepard, I overheard yet another news report about you uh, today and I thought I'd like to see how you're doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there's any way that I can be of assistance to you, please don't hesitate to call. Uh, Hannah Shepard, sweetheart, it's been a long time since we spoke, uh, too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible, maybe you knew that, I don't know. But that's uh, where you'll find me. Could you call me please when you get a chance, I would love to talk to you. Mum. Ah, Mummy Shepard. Shepard, the uh, Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Uzaru Maestros in a bio, uh, bio, biotable game. Should be epic. You recently acquired a... An apartment with a uh, sweet vid screen, coincidence? James and I don't think so. You provide the couch, we'll provide the refreshments, just let us know. Alright, cool. 
Randy Lawson, Shepard, uh, care for a night out. Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. Cool. Uh, let's see. Let's call Mum. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, Mum. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. Aww. Thanks, Mom. All right. Uh, Cortez. What's going on with this? Sorry, we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? <laughs> it's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Going to be some intense by out of all. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassana's play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. <laughs> you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. And they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it gonna be? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man, the game started. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Hell yeah! Yes, they did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows, you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Is that normal? For a guy who's not watching sports? I'm not a sports guy, so I wouldn't know. All right, uh, should be Miranda next? No, Samara. Oh no, Miranda's outside. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars, but I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard, very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. 
It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. She has an interesting approach to life. All right. Back outside. I always do the Citadel DLC last. I don't know if there's a proper order to do them in, but I always do do this as the final thing to... the final good memory to have before pushing off onto the final mission. Right, so Miranda is in the Silver Strip Casino. Oh, there we go, it is automatic. Looking good, Miranda. Maybe I'll romance you in my second playthrough. You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be, uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier about having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. And we'll never know what trouble they got to cause. All right. Oh no, it was that. Okay, never mind. That's the way out. There it is. All right, back to the invitations. Oh, 
right, there's no one else to talk to currently, so no. Alright. There should be more people to hang out with. I'm pretty. I know we need to do one with Jack. Is Jack the last one? I'm sure there's one to do with Jack as well. Is she in the arcade already? She might be. So let's have a look. Okay, interesting. I don't know what's happened here. Unless that only happens if you romance Jack. I'm pretty sure it doesn't though. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this, and I deliberately didn't replay the original games before this one released. Right. Right, I'm going to try something. I'll do this, I'll save it here. Just in case what I do is wrong. Yeah, we haven't done stuff with, with Rex. Well, uh, yeah. We're supposed to meet up with Rex and Jack as well. If I... Maybe if I send out all these invites, that will trigger something. No idea if this is going to make any difference.
Hmm. Maybe I've messed up somewhere. For a full list of quality products, please browse our catalog. Okay, if there's anyone up here, so who's this patriarch person you keep going on about? Your what? You never heard of mighty patriarch? We've heard of the patriarch. I wonder if Rex is already here. Maybe. What should we do first? Wait for Joker. Okay. This didn't pop up on anything. Here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha <laughs> ha! Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> really, Joker? This it's joking time. Oh no. <laughs> That's right. You just landed on the island of Dr. Me. Oh, I get it, Dr. Moreau. And that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here, uh, Shepard. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. <laughs> All right. Okay, I wonder if now, if we head back, there'll be invites. Sounds like a scalper. Right, I wonder now if that will trigger some invites. Joker wasn't on the map. Don't you people have homes to go to?
No, no new messages. I don't want to miss... Uh, things. Maybe I'll just have to keep coming back to reset it. Hmm. Right, nothing there. So it's it it should just be Rex and Jack. Let's check all the other areas out. So Jacob was in here. Let's see if there's anyone else around. Anyone else? Go past the stairs again. Okay. There we go. There's Rex. Rex? What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those project shit slingers. No, it's the it's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again, oh, <laughs> I haven't slept in I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks and another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it. There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. Stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Urdna. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. And Bakar is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. <laughs> Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. <laughs> Here are your drinks and a bag of ice. Big family. 
<laughs> oh, poor Rex. Right, okay. We found Rex. Found Joker. Jack has got to be somewhere. Let's go this way. Uh, Jack, you in here yet? Uh, that's just you. Hmm. Maybe it is only when you romance Jack then. So now you and Jack uh, play around in the uh, arcade. Right. I guess that just leaves the party now. All right, let's get this party cracking. Nothing, seems like there's nothing else to do. Make sure we get everyone in here. Definitely invite Tally. You can't have a party without best girl. Friends invited Rex and then finally Zaid. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Sounds good, Glyph. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. That's a little lame. I ran with a simple crowd. <laughs> hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. 
I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? <laughs> I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one more. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. Don't worry, Terry, I'll get you out of that suit later. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Norman. Call up the servers and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. Von means one who has a weak bladder. Which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. All right, calm down, Tally. Hi, I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure, but some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckles apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. I bet it was that Ceres ice brandy. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. That, as friends, sounded uh, like you were disappointed, Liara. Let's see if Kasumi's hiding out. Look around, she will pop up. She's in random places, though. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days, running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. I'm guessing that's not what you think anymore. Well, she may still picture him in the shower. <laughs> nice one, trainer. Alright, Kasumi's not around here. Let's head upstairs. Glyph! I like the bow tie. Bow ties oh, are cool. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest? You or the tank break? 
Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothe in here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Brax. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys damn talking. Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party's started. <laughs> Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? In a few hours from now, nobody will remember this party. Because <laughs> everyone will be hung over. Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? <laughs> oh, Rex, you are such an old man. All right, Kasumi, where are you? Not in here. Ah, here's the others. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. I'm sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I could be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? Okay. I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very you successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the guest, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? 
Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Alright, let's kick it up a notch. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tujanka. And Tujanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, guys. Dr. Chop. No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's not good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. <laughs> Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. I'm not sure you really want that, Steve. Shepard's dancing is uh, questionable at best. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. <laughs> I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> No. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks. No. See. Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No. Yes, I love <laughs> And no. You can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me, still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. Thank you, Grant. I can stop bullets with my mind. <laughs> You guys, I love you guys. 
No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? Love you too, Grunt. Occupied. Oh, sorry, Kazumi. Stop stealing my shit. suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Savara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> it makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweeter sorry ass. <laughs> Good luck trying to tap that, Zaid. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled, rich girl cheerleader victim test tube clone princess i think it's past your bedtime oh did i hit a nerve i didn't get to read your psych profile ladies i see we've all gotten enough to drink relax shepherd i'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time and i couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut <laughs> hey cheerleader my hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Jack, Miranda's still weak from fighting Kai Lang. It wouldn't be fair for you to fight her right now. That's ridiculous. Don't worry, I won't hurt anything but her pride. And maybe her ass. And Miranda, I know you've got tech attacks that could take Jack down in seconds, but I'm trusting you to be better than that. <laughs> oh, really? Really? The truth hurts? Need some time alone with your feelings? Your ass is gonna need some time alone with its feelings. I don't get that. But I'm going somewhere dirty. Not helping, Kasumi. It must be hard being a boy <laughs> in a boy's body. Gene freaked cheerleader. Child. Okay. Nice talk. We encourage that, Shepard. What are you on about? Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Hell yeah. All right. Who's next? Ah, uh, the, the rest of the gang are upstairs. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. 
Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Hey, Liara, check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. James, this is a no brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden, just... Relax. <laughs> Jesus, Caden. Hey, ladies. Ah, oh, I missed that. What's wrong, dude? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking, you know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. You did? More reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kiva, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. <laughs> I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me, I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program, so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. Oh, Tally. 
Alright. How many bedrooms does this place have? Enough for everyone here, I think. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we can we can stop talking about this whenever you like. <laughs> I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No, 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 you can't even, no. Oh, okay, sure, send it my way. Oh. Trader. Naughty. You right there, Grant? What was the name? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, let's crank it up a notch. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Well, now's your chance, Glyph. Knock yourself out. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's going to take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. <laughs> so he won't dance with you, huh? Well, no, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. <laughs> there it is. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Come on, Jeff. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh. Fine. See, those are Shepherd's moves, dancing, so you really should not be mocking me. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one legged varin. <laughs> not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepherd! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, this happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Yeah, probably best I walk away now. As you wish. <laughs> well, at least you're having fun, Javik. Hey, everyone. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Ah, uh, a nice bit of casual racism going on. Hell yeah. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Captain on deck. Has he always been like this? You learn to love it. It's 
Very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. <laughs> Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leon always been so blue? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love this DLC. Uh, what's going on up here then? Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? What a guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? <laughs> you got it, Vega. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I could feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. All right. No up here. Oh, yes! Grunt, you okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. <laughs> Excellent. Go back to sleep. Sure. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Damn you, lettuce. You a wizard, Harry. Ah, Grant's crushing on Liara. Judge Trade reference, nice. Come 
one is small. Sad anarch at worst weather. There it is. Alright, that's the last one. Damn you, lettuce! Take it easy, Grunt. Kasumi. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. <laughs> hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. There we go. The whole, all of the Normandy crew. Well, most of the Normandy crew. That's a lot of Heineken. What a night. But look who's here. Kidla. I'm going to be so sick. Totally worth it. I'll let you know. Ugh. Who put my suit back on? The buckles are all askew. And when did I get an Omni tattoo? Let's see if anyone else is up. Best to get the aftermath. Hey, Team Spirit! Uh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javi. I had a dream. 50,000 years had passed. It was horrible. Alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, uh, the Asari. I was one. The Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh. It was no dream. Morning, Javik. <laughs> Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Throwing shade, Garrus? Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. <laughs> yeah, it does. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Thank you, Samara. 
Ah, someone fixed my shower. Hey, Tally, honey, you all right? I am going to die. Not on my watch. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Ugh. You take it easy, Tally. Right. Anyone in here? No. Shepard. I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085. 1086. Bullshit. 1087. Bullshit. I can barely do 10. Shepard. Hey, Jack. How you doing? Hey. You look like shit. Good to see you, too. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers. But I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. Andy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. No, there's Aid. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Very co very considerate of you, uh, Zaid. Shepard. Morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. You're welcome, Steve. Hey, Eddie. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I know, Eddie. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Thanks, Edie. You're always looking out for us. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, everyone could just not talk so loudly. That would be great. No. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Oh, still fun, though. Commander. No, I like that picture. Right there, Caden. Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? Maybe for Jeff. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara. Eggs? Trainer. Esteban. Eggs? Joker. Where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex? Buddy? Eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik? Man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Shepard. Eggs. Shepard. Shepard. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. More or less. Mmm. Good tea. Mmm. I think I broke my head on something last night. Yeah, the shower. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Grunt. Shepard. Shepard. Uh, 
Where's Trainer? Oh, there she is. So last night I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Yes, trainer, that's what happened. Hey. Hey. Okay. I believe that is everyone. All right. Back to work. All right, back to the Normandy we go. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Really was the best. And here we go. I'm going to end this episode here. The last good memory we're probably going to have going forward, and I want to end it on a, on that high note. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This will be a Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>